What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video, and I have picked my five players to watch in 2021 on the WTA, who to watch out for, and some players that I'm really interested to see how they perform in 2021. So there's a couple of easy ones, there's a couple of obvious ones, but there's some that we've forgotten about because they didn't play most of 2021. So let's go to the first player that I think we should all be watching in 2021. Maria Sakari. She's currently ranked 22 in the world. She had some solid results last year in 2020 against some really good players. She beat Serena. But I want to see how she rises up into the top 20. She's never made it in the top 20 in her career, but she is super fit and she is very, very aggressive. And I like her game. How can she get into that top 20. Can she rise up the rankings? I think she's a top 10 player. Can she get to that height? Also, like I just said, she played really well against players like Serena Williams in 2020, but how can she compete consistently against the top 10? You can get a great win over one of the top 10 players in the year, but you've got to have to beat them consistently and play well against them consistently at the biggest tournaments. And also breaking through at a slam, like I just said, you have to beat the best at the slams to get higher in the rankings. I want to see how she does at the Grand Slams, especially in Australia, Roland Garros, and the US Open. She's a really solid hardcore player, but she can also play on the clay as well. I'm interested to see if she can have a breakthrough at one of the majors in 2021. So Maria Sakari, she is the first player that I'll be watching for in 2021. I'll be keeping a keen eye on her to see how she does, especially at the majors. She's due for a breakthrough eventually. Okay, let's go to the second player that I'm keen to watch out for in 2021. Iga Fiontek, the current number 17, of course, the French Open champion. Can she back that result up? Remember, the French Open is only a couple of months away. That's what I'm keen to watch out for. Also, I'm keen to see how she plays against the other top 10 players. She beat Halep at the French Open, of course. But how can she do against players like Osaka on a hard court? That's not an easy task. Or even Barty on a grass court. Watch out for those players. And I'm also interested to see how she can play on other surfaces because she won the French Open. She's only ever won one WTA title. And guess what? It was Roland Garros. So not a bad one to have, but she hasn't won any other tournaments in her young career. So how does she do on a hard court, on a grass court? We obviously know she can play on clay, but how does she do on the other surfaces? That's what I want to know. She won Junior Wimbledon only a couple of years ago, so maybe she can play on the grass, but you're going to have to be a good hardcore player if you're going to get into that top 10, which a lot of you think she will. So Igis Fiontek, someone I'm really keen to watch for in 2021. Not so much on the clay courts because we know she can play on clay. That's proven. I want to see if she can win titles on hard courts and possibly grass courts because she has a Junior Wimbledon to her name. And we know that if you can play well at Junior Wimbledon, you usually play well at Wimbledon itself. Look at Roger Federer. Let's go to the third player I'm interested to look for in 2021. Serena Williams, the current world number 11. And I think we're all going to keep an eye on Serena uh, for the obvious reason of the Grand Slam record. We want to see if she can win it. But also, I'm interested to see how is she going to recover? Because remember, she got injured at the French Open and pulled out of that event in the second or third round. So I'm interested to see, has she recovered from that injury? Is she going to be more injury prone? She's getting older. She's almost 40 now. Is her body going to withstand the pressures of playing a lot of tournaments with these next-gen players coming through as well? Also, I want to see how Serena can compete against the top 10 players. How does she do against Halep? How does she do against Osaka? And of course, Andrescu, who beat her in the US Open final. How can she do against this next generation of players, these young players coming through? And of course, the obvious reason we're all watching Serena is she is going for the Grand Slam record of 24 majors. We've been waiting, it feels like, for five or six years to get that record. It's 2021 the year. That's what I'm interested to see, her breaking that record. So of course, I think a lot of us will be watching Serena Williams' quest for the 24th Slam, the one that she's missed out on by this much so many times in the last couple of years. I think we're all going to be watching out for Serena at every major to see if she can break that record. Okay, let's go to the fourth player now that I am super interested to watch for in 2021. Alina Rybakina. Some of you might not know her. She's the number 19 in the world. She's a young player from Kazakhstan. She had a really great start to 2020. She made a bunch of finals. She got a title as well. She almost beat Halep in Dubai, which is a big, big event on the WTA. But I'm interested to see, can she back that up again? Also, I want to see her play consistently well against the top 10 players at the biggest events. That's something we missed a little bit of in the second half of the season. She didn't play well at those big events, but she played great at the start of the year, like I just said. But how can she do it consistently 
against those top players. We know she almost beat Halep. She played well against Barty also at the Australian Open at the start of the year. So how can she do in the big events against the best players? And also I'll be looking to see if she can actually break through at a Grand Slam. But she seems to like to play on the hard court. She's a big, tall player. She's got a big serve on her as well. So Australian Open, US Open, and of course Wimbledon, a place where big servers like Kvitova have won in the past. So I'm excited to see how Rybakina is going to do at Wimbledon in 2021. So Rybakina, a player that I'm super interested to see if she can get to the next level. She's currently 19 in the world, but she's had some solid results. She just hasn't beaten those best players in the world to get the trophies. All right, and the fifth and final player I am super keen to watch out for in 2021, and I think a lot of you will be as well. Bianca Andreescu, the current world number seven, the former US Open champion from 2019. I'm very interested to watch out for her in 2021 in her comeback season. She didn't play at all in 2020. And how can she regain the form from that 2019 season? It was a ridiculous season. She couldn't lose. Every tournament she played, she won basically. So when you look at her results, can she replicate that again, having not played for 12 months? That's what I really want to see, especially early in the 2021 season. And Andrescu thrives at the big tournament. She won Indian Wells in 2019. She won the Toronto Canada Masters in 2019. And of course, she played really well at the US Open, winning that. I want to see how she does at the majors and those big, big events on the WTA calendar in 2021. I want to see how she does at the Australian Open, which is supposed to be the tournament she comes back in. Of course, the US Open. She's a former champion now. And Wimbledon. She has a game that could easily win Wimbledon. Very Serena Williams-like in her aggression and the grass courts being quick. I think she can do some damage at Wimbledon too. So let's see how Andrescu can do on the grass courts and of course on the hard courts when she comes back, hopefully in Australia. So those are my five players that I'm keen to look out for in 2021. Let me know down in the comments below. Is there anybody I've missed out on? Is there anybody that you're really interested to look for and look out for in 2021? There's players like Sabalenka that kind of make it interesting as well because she's on the rise a little bit too. And also Pliskova having a new coach. I'm interested to see that, but let me know down in the comments below if you have a personal favorite that you're interested to watch out for in 2021. Those are my five. Let me know what your five are down in the comments below.